Howdy, Adam J. Brass here. Thought I would show you some really cool Pyramix features today. And we're going to dive into the monitor section. Now the monitor section seems pretty complex at first, but once you get into it, I think it's pretty simple. So let's open up Pyramix here. So I've got a Pyramix session with uh, a few tracks and got a few things with the mixer I can show you. So we're going to open the mixer and I've got some reverb here. Um, I've got two mix buses where I was originally sending um, to a headphone amp and to my monitors in my studio. So um, I figured that was a good way to monitor two different sources at once just by having them both feed uh, this, you know, two different mix buses. But recently having been getting into the monitor se uh, section of Paramix, I found I didn't need to do that because you can just open the monitor section and assign that however you want. Um, so we open the monitor section here and you can see that um, we have to activate it first of all. So I had already activated it prior but you're going to want to activate it. It will remember once you activate it. So the monitor section uh, shows your, your uh, sources, your selected output, your attenuation knob, mute, dim, and your different mix buses. So you can see here uh, which different mix buses you have. You can even solo your reverb returns and even check uh, left and right if you want. That's a pretty cool feature. But now we can add our specific mix buses in here, excuse me, and uh, by very easily just clicking on a speaker set. Now here's all your different speaker sets. And if you notice the numbers in here, those are the actual speaker trim offsets that you can enter once you design your speaker uh, main grid and down mix. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the stereo. Um, now you can see here I've got a main and a mono. And so I want to go ahead and assign that to my 9 and 10 outputs, which are patched into my monitors here. So left and right uh, output 9 and 10. And uh, as you can see, I've got a mono down mix, but I only have one set of monitors, so I don't have another output to rob. So I'm going to actually use the near field, or the near, it says here, the near main grid to create a mono down mix. And actually, it's remembered how I did it before, but let's just pretend you didn't see that. So you have LCR and you have center here. So let's go ahead and create uh, a mono down mix. And I'm just going to put that on my left speaker since it's right here. Um, and there you go. So now I have a way to down mix using the same pair of speakers. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit monitor and we'll go ahead and hit play. I'm going to go ahead and put on my mix bus here. So as you can see, I've got full control with the mouse of my monitors. And I've set my reference level to zero, so I can double click that and get to zero. To change those, uh, that you've got a reference level, which you can double click, and you've got, uh, um, you've got a maximum uh, that you can configure here, down here, right down there, max volume, dim value, and reference uh, volume. So if your reference volume, you want to be minus 20, you can just type that in, hit monitor, and now your reference is, is 20, or you can program the dim however you'd like. Um, so this is an amazing tool. Actually, I have set this up to uh, switch between um, a, the, to the same mix, but with an analog limiter. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. So I'll go back to zero here, or a little bit, three, three and a half dB. And you can see that's my dry mix bus. And that's my mastered with the limiter, added some gain. Now remember I created my um, separate mono down mix. So on my selected channel output, I'm gonna go ahead and switch that to near. And it's already remembered it's in mono, but usually it will default to the main, which you can program too. So now I have a mono down mix with the same set of speakers that I am using. I don't have to even touch my monitor controller. You don't even need a monitor controller. Um, you can use this as a monitor controller. That's what it is. So I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.